Searching is a, um, uh, a very classical thriller about a man whose daughter goes missing and he must go uh, into his daughter's computer without her permission to look for clues about her whereabouts. And he discovers that she is a completely different person than he thought she was. And the unconventional part of the story is that it takes place all on the devices that, that uh, we use. Uh, so your phone and tablets and uh, security footage and so uh, and computers. So uh, the whole movie takes place on screens. I hope you have a good time really just trying to figure out the twists and turns of the plot. It's a real uh, nail biter and I hope you can, I hope we can uh, outfox you in terms of what, who you th uh, think uh, did it. Uh, the preparation to me is not much different from one role to the other in terms of you learn the story, you learn the lines, you come in, you try to know your character and, and be honest and authentic. Really the difference between comedy and drama to me is the writing. Um, obviously one is funny, one isn't, and the jokes are really in the writing and your job is to just be honest with the, with the material. But uh, the results are much more different than the process. Um, it's more general. Yes, uh, I think me being a father certainly informed uh, how I approach the role, but it's just really like you don't have to think too much about how awful it would be and how much worry you do. I mean, I can just tell you that the, the minute, well, the minute you learn your wife is pregnant, you start worrying and it just never goes away. It just sort of changes shape and you worry about different things. You worry about their health and you worry about their emotional well-being and um, so that's just right there on the surface. It's not anything I have to even think about and I'm sure your parents feel the same way. The most interesting part was the difficult part was just sort of navigating how do you tell a story. For me as an actor it was basically one angle. It's just the camera is like a webcam is right there. And, um, you know, in traditional filmmaking, you have different angles that you play with to tell the story of your character and the plot. And I was a little bit out of my element because uh, I didn't know how to have control over the situation. And so that was different, it was weird, and there was also no people in the room with me ever, so I was never talking to a human being, so that was a challenge. I certainly see storytelling as always tethered in some way to technology. We told stories uh, on stage, and then when cameras were invented, we started filming people, and then as that technology increased, you know, we, we do animated stuff. I mean, there's always some kind of technology that broadens, deepens, hopefully improves our ability to tell the story of the human condition. The real issue is uh, maintaining humanity. And so to me, whatever technology we're using is just a tool It's to, to further that story. Um, I don't know whether we'll see it. It's whoever can tell a compelling story, uh, whether they choose, whether they think this will help their story or not. I don't think in and of itself it's a thing that will catch fire or not. I just, but, but yes, we are living more of our lives um, in our screens, so I think we'll see people addressing that condition in, in, in film and television more and more. Yeah, I mean, to me the issue is, are you going to believe the world who tells you you're not supposed to be doing this, or you're going to believe you and the people who love you? And I say, believe yourself and the people who love you, and forget what the world says. How's that? That was good. <laughs> um, God, I, I, I like him so much. He's so, he, he doesn't see problems. He's just trying to get to the solution, and he's incredibly smart and enthusiastic. 
and he's a type of um, person you want to partner up with when you're doing something difficult like making a movie. He makes it fun and he's got a great heart and he was someone who I think throughout this process especially dealing with this new conceit you know we're filming inside these we're being inside of these devices for for me and him I, we always wanted to keep our focus on the emotional journey and said that if we don't have that then who cares about the rest of it so he was uh, a great collaborator um, someone I'd uh, rob a bank with <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is John Cho. Um, thank you for uh, your support. I hope you uh, enjoy my new film called Searching. It opens August 24th uh, in select cities and wide across the nation on August 31st. Uh, thanks a lot.